welcome to the Mythbusters After Show. Today's episode is fire and ice. Fire versus ice, maybe. Yes. Adam, how scary was it when your little house got engulfed? <laughs> uh, it wasn't nearly as scary to be in that house as it is to actually watch the footage of me in that house. And I was serious in the episode uh, that I'm going to have to call my mom before that episode airs and tell her I was just fine. It, was, it seems much worse on the outside than it did from the inside. Although it was a little creepy to be staring down directly down the barrel of a flamethrower that was being pointed at me. And I couldn't see a thing. I just opened the valve and <laughs> waited. Exactly. <laughs> Until he hears screaming or applause. <laughs> yeah. How many permits did you need to build a flamethrower? Can I get one? Uh, wow, uh, a lot and no. Uh, yeah. This had to go all the way to the Department of Justice, and there are only a couple people that are licensed in the state of California uh, to uh, operate these things. Literally They're, a couple. Literally two people in the state of California are allowed to handle or supervise these things. It was um, a permitting nightmare, actually. Yeah. And when we were finished, we had to take the, the nozzle part of the gun, dismantle it, and photo document its its uh, storage in two different containers. Yeah. No for, kidding. For some reason, you say flamethrower and everybody gets all uptight. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, actually, I do know why, and you can you you also will know why if you see the episode. Um, do you feel nervous building stuff that is dangerous since people might try it at home? Well, we obviously don't want anybody to try this stuff at home. We say that all the time, um, and you know it it does make us feel nervous because we don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, we don't want to get want people to get hurt trying to replicate what we do or. Uh, or play around with any of the stuff that we play around with. Uh, but, I mean, that's one of the reasons that in the episode we talked about the permitting process. We talked about how illegal it is. We did a secondary uh, disclaimer in the middle of the episode about not trying this at home. And then the construction of the, of the flamethrower itself was non-trivial. I mean, it's yeah, a I fairly gotta... complex mechanism. Yeah, you're not going to be able to uh, just grab some stuff and, and throw it together and get it to perform like that. I mean... Gasoline burns. Uh, you can squirt gasoline, but uh, come on, just uh, uh, stay no, away from stay it. Stay away from it. We don't. We don't like that, and it's and it is, it is very dangerous. Um, is the JD who helped with the flamethrower the same JD who runs the bomb range? Yes. No. No. It's no. Not. Right. Sorry. No. Uh, JD Nelson, who runs the bomb range, uh, is who we use often when we're out at the bomb range. This this other person's name is is J D Street and uh, he's a pyrotechnician. Um, we've actually worked with him before. We worked with him when we used the flamethrower for the uh, 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 the stun gun episode, the water stun gun episode. Right, and he's one of the two people that have a license to operate a flamethrower in in on, for film making purposes in the state of California. Both J Ds are very nice. Yes. Was the goal for things to meet in the middle or just for Adam to repel the flames even a tiny bit? Obviously, in the clip, the two forces meet in the middle. Um, but the practical result is that the fire extinguisher keeps the flamethrower from burning up the guy. It's not really a meeting of equals because one's a defensive weapon, the other is an offensive weapon. Um, so as far as looking at them from that standpoint, I considered that I would win as long as my fire extinguisher was able to keep the flame off me, and it did. Where it did that was less of a concern. And sure, it busts the exact mechanics of the clip. However, what happens in the clip is the salient point. The guy holding the fire extinguisher is not burnt, and technically neither was I. Well, I guess that's about it for <laughs> Mythbusters After Show, Fire vs. Ice. See you next time. Bye.